Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to look at an antique choker style mousetrap. This style of mousetrap used to be very common in the late 1800s and early 1900s. They were made by several different manufacturers and came in different sizes and shapes. A round, square, I even have a metal round one here. I've already featured one that has a hexagon shape made from Victor. And uh, this one we're going to feature is a square one with three holes. It's called the Easy Setting Choker and it was made in Erie, Pennsylvania. Uh, the same company also made a round one. We're going to test out this three hole one. Uh, there's two holes on this side and one on this. This is an earlier model that has two and uh, they pretty much all work the same way. They have a spring snare and an animal enters, sticks its neck through there and you can see a little wire noose. The wire noose is down and when they put their head in there to get the bait, uh, the springs pull up and they are choked. Uh, there's a little bait down there. I'm using some almonds on there and when the mouse comes in and pulls it forward, it releases the latch. The way you set this is you push down that spring and there's a little set trigger there. Uh, you hold that down and uh, put the hook from the trigger on the bottom right in place just like that. And uh, now it's ready to go. The mouse will come through. You can see that wire snare. Uh, they'll put their head right through there, pull that nut forward to get it. Yeah, and it comes loose and it has me right there on the finger now. It's turning my finger white. It has quite a bit of force. I've tested these out before and the biggest downfall is that they don't instantly break the neck and so the mouse will struggle just a little bit as it's having its oxygen supply cut off. So not as humane as some of the more modern mouse traps. Uh, sometimes you'll come and find them and they'll still be alive in the morning. Uh, but mostly they're dead. Uh, if you get a good set right on the neck, they'll die. And so it's very effective at catching mice. It may not kill them instantly, but it definitely will catch multiple mice. What I want to try to do here is uh, get a hat trick or a trifecta. See if I can get all three holes to catch mice. I think we can do that. The barn has a lot in there and uh, they want that bait. So let's go set up the trail cameras and see if we can catch three mice in this antique easy setting choker mouse trap. I went to go check the barn this morning and it looks like we have an antique choker mouse trap hat trick. All three spring snares are set off and we have three dead mice. I wish we set up this round four hole choker because additional mice were trying to get that bait. I think we could have killed four mice with this trap. And to release them, it's simple. All you have to do is pull down the spring, give a little shake on each one and the mice will come out and then you can reset it and go kill three more mice. Very neat design and very effective. These mice are absolutely crawling with fleas. A month ago, pretty much most of the mice I caught had parasitic botfly maggots living in them under their flesh, eating them alive. I haven't seen too many botfly maggots recently. The weather's getting warmer, and I think most of them are in the pupa stage, turning into adults. So not many have those little worms, but they do have fleas. It's really disgusting. These things have so many parasites. But these antique choker traps work well. It was a great test, a complete success. Every single hole had a mouse in it, and I think that this is a great part of mousetrap history cool design and there's a lot of different variations.